Thank you. You've been holding it down. You're good. 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 you are good you you guys are uh, you guys are ramping up, and I always love your presence and your uh, your posts as well. Oh yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah, we're doing our thing. Yep. We're growing in our own way. We're a little more organic. Uh, we're growing. We're more like people first, grassroots. Like that's why we're doing this hub in LA. Yeah. Because it gives a lot of an opportunity to a lot of people. Nothing's ever been done like it. Yeah. Own the land, own the operation. You know, the community-based charging too. Community-based like charging. Yeah. Nobody's really done that yet that I that I'm aware of, and I feel like that's going to really take over quite well. We're doing it. It's yep. coming up, baby. Coming up. <laughs> so, all right. My name is Warren. I'm with EV Initiative, CES 2025, and we are back at the Oz Hell booth. I am with a good old friend of mine, Dan. We go back uh, some years now. How yep. many years? I'm not sure. At least two. At least two or three. Yeah, now. maybe three. Yeah. And uh, we're visiting the Autel booth. We are shopping for the latest, greatest, newest, coolest hardware, EV charging hardware, for our community-owned EV charging hub in Los Angeles. We are looking for standalone units, 400 kilowatt dual plug standalone units, and I feel like I'm standing in front of something new. You definitely came to the right place. New and cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Can you please tell me more about this new unit, standalone it looks like? Absolutely, yeah. So actually here at CES 2025, uh, this is the unveiling of this product. So. Uh, you guys are getting to see it first. Uh, DH480, so 480 kilowatts. We use 40 kilowatt power modules on this one. So you can configure it anywhere from 240 up to 480 in any 40 kilowatt increment. Uh, as you can see, this one is the dual port configuration, but you can actually put up to four ports on this charger. So it would be basically imagine the same front door with two more ports on the backside as well, uh, if that's desired for a certain location. Um, NAS connector uh, or CCS connector, any combination uh, of the two, uh, point of sale terminals, um, all the content on the screen of our chargers can be customized by the operator. So, you know, when somebody's interacting with the screen, uh, you'll select the connector, you'll start your payment that way. But when the screen's not in use, it's kind of like the screen saver on your computer. So, um, you know, you can put the EV initiative logo on there. You can have a slideshow playing, uh, similar to like, you know, at a gas station where there's an advertisement playing on the screen there. Yes. So. Um, but yeah, this is really kind of completing our DC charger lineup because we've had up to 240 kilowatts with our previous DC fast. And then we have our distributed DC setup with our DC high power over there, 640 kilowatts. But this is, you know, a really high powered monolithic solution, all, all in one 480 kilowatts. 480 kilowatts in one standalone unit. Yep. That's a lot of power and that's exactly what we're looking for. So it's perfect like that. And what is a... NACS connector, what does that mean? Uh, well, J3400 is the technical term, but uh, this works on Teslas. And, this works on Teslas. And any other <laughs> any other uh, OEM in the future that adopts the NACS port. Which is pretty much everybody. Everyone's doing it. GM even. Gonna be doing it. That's right, even Hyundai. So this is the North American charging standard. It's basically what it is. Yep. North America. And yep. then you have the CCS. The combined, combined char charging, charging system. Standard. standard. CCS 1 in, in the US. And you, so this is for BMW, Mercedes, and everybody else who has not shifted over to the NACS standard. Yep. Uh, Mission Hills, I'm now I'm now really considering going mainly CC, uh, going mainly NACS because we're building for the future. We're thinking about the next yep. 10, 20, 30 years because we own the land and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And uh, well, well, with our products, though, if you, let's say you do, you know, one of each uh, on, you know, let's say you have four chargers at the site. Right. Um, you know, in the future, if you see that the adoption or the utilization of the NAX ports is way higher than the CCS, then in the future, you can actually retrofit. So you don't have to replace the charger at that point. You can actually retrofit this to a NAX cable. Um, you know, there's a different CCU, different firmware, but... Um, that can be done in the field, and it's you know a relatively quick swap. How long would that take? Um, on this exact model, I have not done it on this because it's a brand new one. But on our DC fast, it's about a two-hour job. Two-hour job. And you register yep. the cable, and I actually noticed. I mean, you can't help but notice the new design of this cable management system. Yeah. And I'm going to pretend I'm plugging in that car over there. We got a, an Audi across the road. 
So I'm just gonna like walk over and show you guys whoa, yep. how good in the distance, is that okay? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. How, how much this thing bends down. Yep. So even if your car is parked pretty far away, you can plug it in easily and it just retracts right back to where it was before. Yeah, and we'll actually have you know different cable length options for these two. So if you want to go all the way up to a 25 foot long cable, that is an option, uh, optional cable upgrade as well. So, um, so yeah, we try and be as flexible as possible with all of our solutions that we bring to market. And I think that this one is really um, a good example of that. What was the standard warranty again? Uh, standard warranty on our DC products is two years, uh, but we have warranty extension options. So you can go, uh, you know, but we have up to three year warranty extension. So it'd be a total of five um, on the DC products. And then we have parts and labor uh, options as well. Um, but I know you guys would typically be doing, you know, onsite diagnostics or labor yourselves. So we have a, a flexible, um, you know, range of solutions just depending on who's operating it, what are they looking for, as far as, you know, warranty, warranty extension, do they need labor performed as well uh, for, you know, routine maintenance and stuff as well. So, you know, the, the actual air filters on this, there's uh, one filter on each door. So we recommend replacing the filters once a year, cleaning them every three months. Um, but, you know, one of the things that we are doing a little bit differently is that, so we can remotely diagnose every component within the charger remotely. Um, and then on top of that, if there's ever a fault that does set on the charger, uh, whoever does own and operate the charger can be, uh, they can get live notifications either via text message, email, platform notifications through our maintenance backend uh, to know that, okay, hey, this charger is down, um, you know, it's set a fault during a charging session, here's all the data associated with that event. And then you can, right through our maintenance backend, you can actually click and go right over to our uh, US-based field service. Um, and we'll go in, you know, look at all the data, help diagnose if there ever is a, f a fault or an issue. Interesting. I, and I, I believe you guys have quite a few of these, um, maybe not this brand new product, but you guys have quite a few of them deployed in the public space, not just behind the fence, private use. Yep. Uh, any uh, locations off the top of your head you can wrap off? Uh, I mean, we've got about, so our, our DC Fast, uh, I think we just passed the 1,000 mark, uh, 1,000 of those deployed within North America, so U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. I think U.S. is like 700-ish. Seven, um, so, yeah, many sites uh, all throughout the U.S. Interesting. Yep. So, yeah, great product, great support. Autel's been a player for many years. Uh, you guys are made in America, made overseas, made of a mix? Both. Both? Yep, we have, we have both options, so if anybody needs a you know, US made Nevi Baba compliant version. Uh, we have those, those are manufactured in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we also have Vietnam man manufacturing as well. Wonderful. Yep. Yeah, Autel, long-term player. And oh, the yeah. player's been in the game for a long time. Everything's on o OCPP 1.6J. We, they're and, on our platform and, already. And 2.0. And 2.0, and they're all, already on All of our hardware supports 2.0 as well. Oh, wonderful. And, wonderful. There you go. and now, in, with the addition of our new AC Pro over there, um, now we all of our AC chargers and DC chargers support ISO 5118 as well as OCP, OCPB 2.0. Very cool. Really, really, really cool. Yep. I love it. Plug-in charge is going to become a standard and uh, we're building the future. I'm really, really happy to catch up with you. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to, to doing more business and, and syncing up again in the next CES. Awesome. Sounds you know good. It. Thanks.